Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is SSGL here back with another audio discussion video. I make videos like this when I find myself making videos outside of my regular YouTube schedule. I'm still uh, handling my three weeks of work and I still have a few more days to go before I go home but uh, I wanted to make a video now because of the importance of the news at hand. It just came to my attention that the full 4 players plus screen support has been confirmed to return to the Halo series in the upcoming Halo Infinite. This is of course major news for me, I'm really excited about this, I'm pretty sure it's major news for the couch gaming community as a whole and I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to talk a little bit about what this means to me but first uh, of course links to the articles confirming this are going to be posted in the description box below I'm also going to be conducting another split screen poll over at gamefacts.com to see what people think about this and I'll be making a video about that later about the results but uh, and to what I think about uh, all this about split screen coming back and all uh, first of all uh, I started playing Halo when uh, uh, back in uh, uh, 2012, uh, that was when Halo Reach received the big title update and I have been playing Halo since. Uh, after that, Halo 4 and then we got the Master Chief Collection but of course I couldn't get into Halo 5 Guardians because it didn't have split screen. So we stayed with Halo 4 which is a game that I really enjoy. Um, when Halo 5 Guardian was first revealed not to have split screen support uh, well just like everybody else I uh, was very upset uh, eventually there was a huge backlash but it wasn't until the CEO of the of Xbox Phil Spencer uh, began saying that the reason why split screen was uh, remove was because remember what he said something about people being too busy to play local multiplayer or something like that and when I heard that I realized that that was not a technical reason as to why split screen was removed but it was a social reason and that drove me over the edge but after I calmed down about that I realized that I needed to do something about the matter and indeed and uh, I, I needed to prove it, you know, that, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too busy to have some spare time uh, uh, to, uh, to play in split screen. I mean, look at me, I have a job here that takes me away from home for an average of two weeks. And then I go home for seven days before I go out for uh, two weeks, that's uh, the... Uh, what my schedule looks like. During those seven days I grab as much videos as I can to post them uh, one by one while I'm at work. Despite all that I still have time to play with my family in split screen. So yes, it was not the technical reasons given but the social reasons given that uh, um, uh, made me create this channel. Uh, while all that was happening, I, I decided to check uh, community and gamer reaction about the situation over on the internet, specifically at Halo Waypoints. And I found something interesting. Um, unlike uh, the Master Chief, uh, the Battle Rifle, the Elites, or Firefight, uh, the community was not united when it came to wanting split screen back. What, what do I mean by that? Uh, well, the most obvious example, when it was found that um, the Master Chief 
was only featured in three of the 15 or so missions over at the Halo 5 Guardians, well, obviously, we're talking about the Master Chief here. Uh, everybody in the community was um, united into saying, you know, for the next Halo game, he needs to be the man. He needs to be the one that needs to be in the front with all the characters in the back. So that will be the most obvious example of the community being united into something that they wanted back. Um, but another example would be what happened to the battle rifle. Uh, after Halo 2 and 3, I know that the battle rifle, uh, I know enough about Halo to know that the battle rifle became an iconic weapon of the series, per, uh, probably the iconic weapon. Uh, so when it was found out that it didn't return for Halo Reach, eventually the community, you know, or a significant portion of thereof, became united into wanting the battle rifle back. In Halo Reach, that got replaced with the DMR. Uh, another example, the Elites. I, re but I don't know if the Elites were playable in the original Halo trilogy, but because I play Halo a reach that's when I started playing Halo as I stated earlier uh, I know that the uh, hail that the elites uh, the aliens of the Covenant, uh, the main aliens were playable and people wanted that back but they didn't return to Halo 4 and 5 uh, but I understand that the community is uh, relatively united or very united because there's a huge threat about that over at Halo Waypoints, a huge threat. Everybody wants to play with the Elites again, you know. Then, of course, there's Firefight. Uh, uh, this one took a little bit longer, but I think eventually the community wanted uh, Firefight back instead of what Halo 4 had, which was, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Spartan Ops. And, of course, uh, Halo 5 Guardians brought it back because the community as a whole wanted it back. So I found myself wondering why wasn't the community united into having Split Screen back in the same way they wanted the rif battle rifle back, in the same way they want the elites back. You see, that right there confused me, given, of course, Split Screen is just as old as the Master Chief himself. You see, I was I was very disappointed uh, and and uh, confused about that. But uh, well, having said all that, uh, I would like to conclude this video by saying that that uh, well, split screen is it's definitely coming back. Um, there's uh, uh, there's no doubt about it. I I think split screen coming back to. Uh, uh, Halo, uh, the Halo series just confirms it. It confirms it. Uh, there, there's a, a, what is it? Starlink Battle for Atlas. We just got that one. Uh, split Screen, a support for, and uh, a space exploration, open world in space, and all that. Uh, we got that game. I just got Minecraft too. There are other cool games that. Has just been released. Look at the uh, Black Ops 4. It has it the the first Battle Royale mode with split screen support. That has never been done before, to my knowledge. So there's split screen in the Battle Royale mode now. And uh, there's also a very cool racing game called Great Combat Racing. Full force player split screen support. It, the game is being described as a spiritual successor to Roll Cage. And I heard the, the developers of that game uh, express that they're really proud that they will be that, that they were able to add four players to play into that game. And there are others. Uh, but yeah, with split screen, the full four player, I mean, uh, confirmed to Halo, uh, split screen is definitely back into video gaming as a whole. And I'm really happy about that. Uh, thank you for all those who uh, voice uh, uh, the uh, wanting split screen back. We got our victory. 
So it's 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 a good time to be a, a couch gamer because of this news and uh, yeah I'm really happy about this so all right and that will conclude this video I hope you uh, enjoyed my thoughts about it if you have any thoughts of your own please leave a message in the description box below and until the next time people peace out everybody.